two and one test right there. And we can still do commentary. I don't think you can do that. I think it runs on two separate streams. I don't know. Take a look at the uh, the show link and let me know. I don't think you can do that. Well, I think I it runs on stuff. two separate streams. Um, you mean the show notes? It's working. Yep, yeah, I see it. Go How... ahead and play something and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to play something here. So you can hear us and... Yep. Quality's good. Hear us and play at the same Interesting. Time. By the way, I don't think I got a link to the show notes for this week. Uh, yeah, I did. I sent it to you, mofo. Yeah, so Windows 10 has the ability to allow you to stream your Xbox One to your PC. So I could sit at my... Play at the same time? Yep. Quality's good. Interesting. By the way, I don't think I got a link to the show notes for this week. Uh, yeah, I did. I sent it to you, mofo. Yeah, so Windows 10 has the ability to allow you to stream your Xbox One to your PC. So I could sit at my computer and play Xbox One. Uh, STO or whatever, and then when I computer and play Xbox One, uh, STO or whatever, and then what I'm doing is I'm using XSplit to pick up the um, the what whatever is on being streamed on the Xbox and sending it to YouTube right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was last week's show notes. Sorry. Split to pick up the um, the what whatever is on being streamed on the Xbox and sending it to YouTube right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was last week's show notes. Sorry. Uh, Odin... Oh, wait. Yeah, people can hear me. Uh, if you're seeing the stream right now, I am just testing... Uh, Odin... Oh, wait. Yeah, people can hear me. Uh, if you're seeing the stream right now, I am... The show has not actually started yet. This is just a test. And only a test. And for those who are watching this other thing here, if this actually shows up and you're seeing a Romulan getting ready to go into his Warbird, uh, this is also a simultaneous test on the same channel, different stream. We want to see how bad YouTube messed up. So if you are in the live chat right now, just think something before we kick off the show. Uh, so the show has not actually started yet. This is just a test. And only a test. And for those who are watching this other thing here, if this actually shows up and you're seeing a Romulan getting ready to go into his Warbird, uh, this is also a simultaneous test on the same channel, different stream. We want to see how bad YouTube messed up. So if you are in the live chat right now, just type in which one you see and have a ball. Type in which one you see and have a ball. Do let us know in the chat which one you're seeing. I am currently seeing the console. Yeah, so Odin, I think it's whoever's streaming first gets priority. Do let us know in the chat which one you're seeing.
I am currently seeing the console. Yeah, so Odin, I think it's whoever's streaming first gets priority. All right. All right, so it gets priority to the main view, but we will see uh, as far as whether both of them are recorded or not. Which would be the more important of the two. I haven't loaded up the console game in like forever. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time. Uh, gets priority to the main view, but we will see uh, as far as whether both of them are recorded or not. Which would be the more important of the two. loaded up the console game in like forever <laughs> yeah this is the first time i've loaded up console a long while i've loaded up console a long while now if i end my stream odin i wonder if yours will take over good question let's find out Now, if I end my stream, Odin, I wonder if yours will take over. Good question. Let's find, Let's out. find out. It's amazing right. we got eight people watching right now. My stream has ended. Yours is taken over automatically. Oh, sweet. Yeah. This makes for some interesting things that we can do. Mm. Across all channels. Uh, people in the chat, was the game sound too loud? Like, could you still hear us talking clearly, or...? It was a little loud. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It, it picked up right where uh, Alan left off. It was, it was almost a seamless transition, too. That guy's got a core. Now nah, he just needs to go blow something up. I guess I could play linebacker one for him. Where's your beams on your fate, bro? You do not want to trigger me. <laughs> not today. You know what would look really pretty is if they had plasma versions of those pulse phasers. They would be. Oh, that would so mm. be good. Oh my god, that would be so sexy. Alright, watch this alpha. You're doing it wrong, though, bro. You didn't even cloak. 
cloak smoke. You get that extra cloak damage. Uh, I thought I activated until fleet macro didn't work. I did like the fate. That was a good bird. My favorite, though, by far, is the T6 Tavaro. Yeah, the Tavaro. The Tavaro is a really nasty bird. Well, I told you what I was doing with it as a, like a pure cloak ship, right? Yep. I did cloak torpedoes, couple science abilities, and stayed cloaked in an ISA and still pulled 60k. <laughs> cloaked the entire time. I was like, great, this is lovely. And this is why I like Overwhelming Force. As a torp boat, I can keep the target ahead of me all the damn time. As long as I'm firing high yields, the target's dead. Misfire. Misjudged the target on that one for right by. Gagging. Odin, Odin, Odin. What, what, what? You just totally stereotyped yourself. On what? Your latest tweet about an hour ago. You said it's about time you be recognized for your talents. <laughs> wow. Alright, I didn't quite exactly say it like that. Uh word for word, that was verbatim, friend. <laughs> Almost. It's about time you be recognized for your talents. You better red Nick and I. That was word for word, Odin. You totally stereotyped yourself. Also, welcome to the pre-show show. Yay! <laughs> there was an actual viewer out there who was uh, stating something about, oh, he's not sure how uh, quantum torpedoes on a Romulan boat would work out. I don't know if it was a cannon issue or it was just reload times and whatnot. This is two projectile weapon officers, or three, no, three purple ones running on the tubes, firing in a real-life scenario here, firing high yield with concentrated firepower and I, I, I could probably drop down to two, maybe even one, because this is just stupid amounts of FU mobs, FU you dead. Well, no. Oh, Proteus, I was just going to read that question to you, but you're already on it. Oh, uh Unlike some former past members of this conglomeration of these gamers that come together and do this show, I actually read the chat. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You're right. Duh. You know, I would need to redo my macro because I could have sworn I had that already taken care of there. Uh, what I was supposed to have was Oxidam kick in so I could have a better, more turn and resist kick at the same time. And it didn't fire off for whatever strange reason. I don't know if it's a latency issue or is it just it being stupid issue. But I guess I'm just goofing off right now with this. Which one was that?
This doesn't turn as well as the Manticore does, which is to destroy it, but it's like slightly. I don't know if it's just the way the ship is or it should turn the same. It doesn't. That is all. It's probably the inertia. Because the inertia rating also affects the turn rates. This is true. A lot of people don't know that. That is why overwhelming force is the bee's knees when you're dealing with a big target. You know, that little debris uh, blowing off in his side with that whole, you know, original series look? Nice touch. It looks like these guys are getting a bit overwhelmed over here. Oh yeah, they're definitely getting overwhelmed. Target shields have failed. Helps if I unmute my mic. Odin, I put that link you were asking for in the show notes. Thank you very much, <laughs> sir. I have to remember that uh, um, because I'm streaming on XSplit, there isn't really a um, push to talk method. Well, there is, but it cuts out the sound for the entire broadcast. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, and that's what happened last week's show. So I activated push to talk. And while you guys were talking, none of your voices were going through. Ah. So when I'm not talking and I'm vaping, I have to remember to push the button on the blue Yeti so you don't hear <laughs> mid-fucking conversation. <laughs> This show rated for adults only. He's getting hot. No, he's not. He's just making. Oh, I just bit the big one. From a can of soda. Deck. Yeah, can of soda. Uh huh. Yeah, man. You know I don't smoke. It's that big dick. Why oh, you gotta do that again? Why you gotta do that again? <laughs> you know, I've I've had a friend of mine who was interested in vaping approach me. He said, H "How do you feel about people calling it a douche flute?" And I'm like, "What? <laughs> yeah, what? they call it a douche what? flute." And I'm like, "Well, I'm not a douche, so yeah." I said, "But I, the other one I've heard was Robocock. I mean, it's it's." Haters are going to hate, man. You're saving money and you're healthier, so choice is yours. Um, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. That's what they call the, the vaporizers, the, the mod boxes and stuff. They put it together, they call me the douche flutes or Robocock. The more you know. That's the, the, the people who are hating on it. Call it that. Gotcha. All right, shield strip followed by torpedoes up the aft. Eh, target's gone. And that one's gone, and that one's gone, and that one's about to go. All right, now hopefully that guy will take that bomb and go running over to the other place. Wow, that was like a weak critical. Watch this tractor while knocking him away with overwhelming force. Yeah, good stuff. Two for one show right there. Shield drain. Here we strip on top of the shield drain.
Now, in a perfect world, no pun intended, if you could, you'd want to chamber a high yield of maximum of the highest rank possible and throw a neutronic first, and then throw a torpedo spread of the quantum phase. And that will give you your maximum amount of shield drain on the target, as well as the maximum amount of torpedo penetration. So, uh, yeah. Let's just knock this shit out and be done with it. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to grab a, uh, a, uh, whatchamacallit? A, a beverage drink? of sorts, yes. <laughs> We call this a beverage in Canadians. Oh, Canadia! <laughs> you know, you know me. The fucking the fame is just inflating my ego, and my head is just. <sighs> Dripping with sarcasm, by the way. Uh, but yeah, you're back. Look, it's a dreadnought. Come on, get me flying. Even though that was a thing. Oh, bit thing. But I did not like it. Easily flying around doing this crap. Mm. Bees knees, yeah, bees knees. I guess I should do my daily event thing, get it out of the way. You know, I need to do that. Just because. I don't even know why I'm bothering, though, because it's not like I'm going to use the ship. I'll probably make a video for that one, but the Sphere Builder is far superior to that. You gonna show the world how to do Omega Particles there, Odin? No. <laughs> Come on. No. Show, show people how epically bad you are at it. I'll tell them I'm bad. You've obviously never played games like Tap Tap Revolution or Guitar Hero or anything like that. Not a real fan of them. I mean, I can score decently well in those games if I wanted to, but I just it just doesn't appeal to me. Well, back before I got back into, you know, online gaming, I was playing Tap Tap Revolution on my phone for like ever. It was a fun I never even game. knew that thing existed until you told me about it, so... Yeah, it was all about tapping the circles. It's kind of like the Omega game where you move the mouse, but you got to tap the circles in succession along with the beat of whatever song is playing. And they played like, you know, hundreds of different songs. And there was there was a couple that I was really, really good at. Uh, 
<sighs> All right, CCA time. Ooh, I gotta do a gravity kill. God darn it. Need more marks. Let's get this event out of the way first. Yo, does uh, dude have invite to the Discord before you get to? Yeah, I gave it to him. What, dude? I guess. Oh. The one oh, that the guy? Notes. Yeah. That guy. Special guest tonight. His name is That Guy. And he's from That Game. And he lives over there? In that area. That weapon shut down. Nasty. This thing lost its own. Alright, looks like I gotta do Wolf 359, Drozana, and Deep Space 9 Ground. Yay! What you said? Zeph, why are you typing on the thing? Typing on what thing? The notes? Yeah. Uh, I can actually uh, see it on my phone because that's where I got it opened up at. Yeah, because that's what we do. We add shit to the notes. Oh. I guess I should probably, you know, figure out something I should add to the notes. <laughs> I think I'll play it by ear this week. It's normally what I do. Um, hold on, town. Let me switch my tunes and tell you exactly which one I got on mine. I got a surprise for you guys. Let me load up my science tune. The one who makes science look easy. Um, no talent, you want the exotic particle for focusers. Is your, is your build heavy science? All right, then you definitely want the exotic particle focusers because they'll actually boost um, any weapon damage you might have, specifically your energy weapons. Um, it gives an all damage bonus, which also includes all of your exotic stuff. So that would be the better console to choose. But if you're going to do the repulsor build for that particular um, STF, you're going to want to get the console that has more control x than epg so you, i think it's the epg control x console is what you're looking for you, you'll notice on the numbers that the control x is higher hey zeph how would i be able hmm. to move somebody from the general channel into here oh wait no you're the admin yeah oh and look stormy's in there guess. wow stormy She probably thinks we're a bunch of elitists now because she can't come in this room. Poor Stormy. Bring Stormy in, please, when you get a moment. 
Oh, it's your ship. What's going on, girly? What's up? Uh, what? be warned. We're streaming live we're, right we're, now. We're streaming. Just so you know. So no crazy stories about what you did to like 900 different bears at a Friday night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stormy, our resident female. She plays games with us sometimes. And she kicks Even though she's, she's been a snob lately. Nah, just being overtired from having a newborn. Another one? Yes, congratulations. Yeah, no, the one that's been brewing for like nine months. <laughs> he has a short is this memory. what you meant by hook a brother up? Yes, yep. this is what I meant by hook a brother up. What? You was talking to Scotty. What's oh, up? that too. No, no, he was talking to SOB. No, I think he was talking to me. I was talking to anybody that uh, could move me. <laughs> Oh, funny, because I said hook a brother up, you know, and, you know, this is bringing Stormy in. But, yeah, I guess you can come in here, too. Uh... Oh, this alt's going to be really slow in doing anything. I believe our guest is almost here. I forgot, this is not my main. I got a little tr triggered earlier. I We're streaming Scotty, by the way. Oh, that's fine. The uh, I opened up a bunch of the Pulse Phaser boxes and uh, got four Mark II damage four arrays to upgrade. I upgraded all four of them. All Freaking four of them went accuracy damage three. Oh. In, a, in a row. It was like upgrade, and they all went epic. Uh, three of them went epic, one went ultra rare. It was because I was using the Omega upgrades. But they all went accuracy damage three, and then after I finished those four, I had a crit D damage two, upgraded that one, and it went accuracy crit D damage two. Dude, I was so freaking mad. <laughs> That's what happens when you gamble. That's why I think they should literally put in a system to where we can choose our own mods and, you know, pay like a little dilithium fee or something to modify the weapons and make them what we want them to be. Yep. You know how OP that would be? But do you know how popular it would be? Yeah, it would also kill a couple markets, but... I'm okay with that. It wouldn't really kill a couple of markets because, you know, some people wouldn't want to invest into it. It would be another R&D tree that they would have to build up in order to be able yeah. to do it. It's, it's not something they're going to do right off the bat. I'm, I'm aware of, you know, the markets. But yeah, so I'd, uh, I was pretty pissed off about that. And then after that, I did... I had two more crit damage twos. One went H, 
and then the other ones went damage and made them crit D damage three. So I got finally got I got three arrays that are crit D damage three. So. Yay, we can enter Wolf 359 again, yay. Oh, they fixed that? Yeah, I'm doing my daily run through the Omega Particles, so finish this out and get the ship. Yeah, I need to do that. I refuse to spend that much lobby on, on a ship I'm not even going to use for, like, maybe 30 minutes. What was that? The anniversary ship, the science one, because I'm going to make a video on uh, it. Oh, yeah. I might have to load it up with some of them pretty pulse phasers. <clears throat> I put some, um, I put a set on my, uh, like, level 15 character just to see what they look like. Some real crazy retarded off mod ones, and they're, they're actually pretty nice. Yeah, I saw a video, some guy did a video of them firing constantly with fire at will, and they're, they're pretty sick. <clears throat> didn't, didn't the pulse phasers, isn't that, wasn't that Enterprise stuff? No, that was Undiscovered Country. Yeah, that's what... Okay. Gotcha. Because I, I could have swore I thought that in Enterprise they called their phasers pulse phasers. Or was it pulse cannons? I have to look. Or something, or something. I think they were using cannons. I think. <clears throat> no, it, it, no, I think you're right, though. It was an array, because remember they did that, and they first installed them, they did that big overload, and the archer's like, I need more power, and they put, like, all the power in it, and it fried almost everything in the ship, but it blew up a moon. Mm. This ship has no punching power whatsoever. Captain Archer, could you explain to us why you blew up a moon? Because it was in my way. Welcome to Drozana! I'm working on another Ferengi imitation. How's that coming for you? Eh, not really feeling it. Because I, I hate Drozana Station and that little dude that's in there. So, while we're just sitting here hanging out and chatting to all your viewers out there, how many of you guys are planning on playing Mass Effect Andromeda when it hits? Throw it in the chat there, let us know. We'd be interested to see how many of our fans and viewers are actually interested in playing that game. I'm definitely going to be looking into it. It looks oh, like a lot of fun. I've already pre-ordered. I'm waiting for it. I'll be downloading it on the 17th because Origin Access gets it on the 17th. Yes, I went there. <laughs> oh, you're going to trigger people. You know you're never supposed to pre-order games. I pre-ordered it because I... Somebody one day when I logged into Discord said, hey, Mass Effect 2 is being given away for free on this website. And I went and downloaded it. Thanks, Alan. And I got so hooked on it. I played 2. I played 3. I went and tried to play 1, but I couldn't because the graphics were just too iffy on the PC. So I got somebody's save game from 1 and made all my choices through 2 and played 3 again and then played 3 again and then played 3 again. <laughs> Yeah, I just finished one um, last night. Yeah, I, I even got all the DLC. The DLC is amazing. It, it really adds a lot to the storyline. I thought it was epic. But now I, I'm so hooked on Mass Effect, I, I can't wait until 
Andromeda hits because that game looks amazing. I want to see what they do for it for multiplayer. Yeah, I, I'm I'm hoping that Andromeda has a large enough fan showing and enough interest that Bioware will be like, hmm, we we've got an untapped market here. We could potentially make an MMO and and roll with it. So, uh, speaking of games, Prius, how how, uh, how much iron did you make? Um, over last night, it was like almost nine full chests. <laughs> yeah. But you got it working? Oh, it, it's working like a charm, dude. Nice. We're going to have iron for days. So if you need iron, feel free, because we're never going to run out. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think, unless we're building with it, we're never going to be able to use all of it. Oh, I plan on doing a lot of building with it. I do have to move the ship, though. What? Mm -hmm. Why? It's too close to the dome. Because oh. the wings will, will protrude right into the glass, and I don't want that, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to... Either move the whole thing in mass or rebuild it from scratch. Oh. For those of you listening, we're, we play Minecraft as well, and I was building a scale model and drum or a scale model Normandy starship from the Mass Effect series on there, and some things happened. <laughs> But it's all good. I enjoy building stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal. Well, you just had the framework set up, so this won't be too bad. Oh, no, no, no. You might want to go fly over there. Oh, God. Yeah. I've got most of the hull in place. Ouch. Yeah. Like I said, though, if I have to rebuild it, I was telling Alan earlier that I did a lot more research and found a few more photos that I can use. People actually built various versions of it in Minecraft, and I can basically get a layout schematics from that and just look at you know how big they built theirs. At least this way I'll be able to get the slope correct. Because mm -hmm. the slope don't look too bad now, but it still does not look the way it should. So if I get a, if I get to rebuild it, I'm just gonna measure it out all properly on the paper first, and then start where I should have started, and then have it built from there. You're on chest number eleven right now. Wow, really? Yep. And I emptied out like five chests today. Terrible. Hey, Alan, didn't we have a somewhere over there by the um, Guardian Temple? Didn't you find, or somebody find a zombie spawner in there somewhere? Besides, not at your base, but it was somewhere around that area. We found a zombie spawner in an island somewhere. I just can't find it again. Uh, Zeph. Our guest has arrived in general. Yay! I'll take care of it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How's it going, everyone? Welcome aboard. Thank What's you. Up? Not too loud, Emma. No, you're good. Right, Perfect. Good. Give me a moment. I'll do the introductions around here for everybody here. Yeah, we got about 10 minutes till the show's supposed to officially start anyway. 
taking this overbuild right into ISA right now. How's that working for you? Uh, uh, we'll find out. I made a light modification, but I didn't test it out until afterwards. Well, now. Holy cow, so much threat. We just lost Al. He's probably testing something else out. Probably. Alright, I think I'll go to a Zengathy front. This NX has a lot of inertia, man, because this sucker drifts. Yes. Alright, I'm in the queue for Zenkethi front. Let's see what happens. How is the new queues on PC? They're not bad. They're... Same, same time gated stuff, but they're not bad. I like the gravity kills one because that actually delivers an element that we cannot control. Right. Why is tab targeting still messed up? It's been messed up forever. Glad to know it's not just console where targeting is messed up. Uh, tab targeting's always been screwed up. It never targets the one you want. Ever. <laughs> Even though I have it to show only on-screen targets, it's not going to on-screen targets. On I, I even set it to where it only targets in a 90-degree arc in front of my ship, and it still doesn't do it right. Yep, using the script TAR 4 arc 90. Mm-hmm. We'll include that in the show notes tonight. Yeah, I, I tested that out on my science tune because I always wanted to have the ability to target right in front of me with the science tune because of reasons. But it, it just doesn't work out. <laughs> All right, Zenkethi front. Here we go. I'm just not used to firing, flying this thing. There's so much drift. Have you done any further testing on the console? Uh, partially, I wanted to get a Tim and a couple other folks on there when they're on a J, but I haven't been able to get them when they're actually like, oh, I got some downtime now. Gotcha. But, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. I accidentally tabbed out on this. Which may have also accidentally saved my butt. Yeah, that thing, man. <laughs> Drift. <laughs> you might as well name that ship the Fast and the Furious. Oh, no, instead of Tokyo Drift, you can name it Zenkethi Drift. Ah, perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. I'm targeting with clicking, and it still won't target the freaking TAC cube until the gateway's gone, even though the gateway isn't even in my field of view. As you can see, the overprox is still going off at the end of the fall. So anything, like I stated before a couple times in writing, um, black. Anything within the first four seconds of fire at will cycle, uh, if over prox, it will not make it to the end of the cycle to fire off. But after fall's done, anything that procs during the last moments of fall or a little bit before then, it will proc over, over will kick in, and you will enjoy the hell out of it. So you're saying over weapons are kind of useful now? 
with the trait that allows it to do 100% cat 1 damage, it, it, it the punch on it is a little bit more. Hmm. I'm gonna have to break out all my overbeams. I'm back. Your real body. And the stream went black. I'm not streaming. My stream or his? Oh, mine, probably because I yeah. helped tab by accident. Am I like really in the body? Yes, you are, like, supremely. Uh, still now? Yep. Quit multitasking, bro. Dude, I need more fucking hard drives. Couldn't even understand that. <laughs> Your video's back. Yay, all I there do is tab back in and out. So Zeph's about to reboot. We're looking at a couple of fun stuff over here. Uh, I got the red matter capacitor finally from the Phoenix lockbox. Very good thing, by the way, for those folks who either weren't here or missed out on the event because of vacation, computer crash, something won't load. They were all from the game for the time period, like what I was. RMC's there. Yeah, I got mine too. No, I'm just I still got quite a few of those Phoenix boxes. Dude, I'm waiting for the evasive maneuver doff to get back in there. They took it out? No, well, I'm waiting for it to, on the next Phoenix box pass. Mm. I wasn't around when they did the... Um, they probably put it in just briefly before... Um, no, I don't think the they box. ever did. Oh, they, they never correctly. did. I think SOB said they just put it in just before it expired, but I'm not sure. Either way, that's there. I'll have to look, because I still got a bunch of those boxes. So I was waiting for that from my one of my Klingons and one of my Romulans, because they never got it. All right, while we're waiting for Zeph to return... I will just do one little pass over here for a little bit of deuterium surplus because I'm running low. I only have, what, five stacks left? Yeah, that's low. I'm just wrecking the Zenkethi front. How am I sounding now? Perfect. Way better. Hey, Mr. Zen Kathy, heal through this. <laughs> On advance, these guys are not doing anything for damage against me. My energy refrequencers is enough to keep my hull at 100% against these guys. Nice. And this is advanced. Yeah. <laughs> this is a joke. All right, we'll do this quick defense contract, get some deuterium surplus, and then whenever Zeph's ready, we'll, we'll start the show. All right, 180 marks. I can 
continue the progression of my reputation. Nice, Talon. I still can't believe that people were actually complaining about Cryptic putting in a promotion. So where if you purchase, whether with real money or with Dilithium to Zen conversions, the 20 key ring um, a box or promo package there, you get a free upgrade token that costs you no dill. And yeah, people were complaining and about that. I don't know why they were complaining about something that was added to the box for free. It wasn't even a price hike. It was the same as well, buying 20 regular keys or two 10-packs. Yeah. By the way, I'm ready to start the show. Cool. Give me about two and a half minutes because I'm just lazy with flying around here. Okay, so 35 minutes we're going to start the yeah, show? Yeah, that's it. Right? That's it. See you guys at 11 o'clock. The show will start at 12.30. I'm just taking a nap, right? You got time for a nap, a snack, and probably five minutes with your significant other. Perfect. Five? That's all I need. <laughs> we we re that's besides the point i thought he didn't have to move the reach there no but the chick does ah true hey what are you trying to say your two minutes is up ah oh, thanks Prep the show! I'm not gonna make people wait half an hour for Odin. No, no, right? we're not. We're not gonna do that. I accidentally all tabbed and things got screwed up. But we're not gonna do that. <sighs> this is my foray into bad beam boat oh, building. Exploiters all the way over. Lowest crit hit uh, in the universe at 7%. You're right. You said it's about to, Shaper. It's about to. I might have to grab that NX just so I can do a proper beam build on there. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put cannons on this sucker and be done with it. Well, yeah, it does turn on a dime. It turns on a dime, but it drifts for freaking forever. I like that though, because you can right. actually drift around the target. Let's uh, start the show, because I want to play some fucking games after this, all right? Yeah, yeah, I know, man. Oh, yeah. Let's start the show. Yeah, I got a new ship to build. Over Lowest crit hit uh, in the universe at 7%. You're right. You said It's about to, Shaper. It's about to. I might have to grab that NX just so I can do a proper beam build on there. <laughs> no, I'm just going to put cannons on this sucker and be done with it. Well, yeah, it does turn on a dime. It turns on a dime, but it drifts for freaking forever. I like that, though, because you All can right. actually drift around the target. Let's uh, start the show, because I want to play some fucking games after this, alright? Yeah, yeah, I know, man. Oh, yeah. I know. Let's start the show. Yeah, I got a new ship to build. 